G'day guys, so I've almost finished this Haltech Rebel LS install in this um, in my VL Commodore with the LS1 engine in it. And everything's going pretty good so far. Um, just playing around in this new NSP software. Most tuners have access to this anyway, but uh, obviously this Rebel's designed for a lot of people just doing their LS conversions in their own cars and doing the sort of a lot of the muck around themselves in their shed. So. If you are interested in this, um, if you've heard the term ghost cam, it's basically where you can artificially make your exhaust sound a bit lumpier at idle um, without having a, a big cam. So it doesn't have to be a V8. You can do this to four cylinders, six cylinders, um, turboed engines. It's, it's all the same thing. So what it is basically is instead of having a big lumpy cam, you are artificially creating that sound by using the ignition advance at idle. So there's a in the NSP software, it's called a zero demand table, and it's basically I've got my laptop here, so I'll show you what it is. Right, so we're in the car and we're connected to the NSP software. So basically, if you want to go looking for it, zero, zero demand, and so this is the the map that's created by Haltech straight off the bat. So you can see this these figures here. This is your RPM along the top, and this is your timing underneath idle timing so you can see it's sort of higher at higher rpm and then around our idle speed so our idle speed is 850 i think 800 to 850 at the moment uh the timing is all 15 degrees top dead center so basically what you do to create an artificial ghost cam sound is you reduce the timing above your idle speed so the rpm will actually fall and you increase it below your idle speed so the ignition catches it so basically your yeah your rpm speed is rising and falling rising and falling rising and falling so i'll start the car up and show you what it looks like I should have probably mentioned before, um, I do already have a cam in this. It's a reasonable size cam. I don't know the exact specs because it was bought like this. Um, it makes 365 horsepower with just a bolt on LS1. Yeah, as you can hear now, I've got a, a mic and a camera set up on the exhaust itself. So this is what my cam sounds like with the factory tube. Okay, so I will make some adjustments and you can hear how that idle might change anyway. So even if you had a standard cam, it would still sound a bit lumpier anyway. Rightio, so that you can see the trace there, that little line. All right, so my thermo fan just kicked in and that bumped the idle up. So it's sitting between 850, 900 by the looks now. now. Okay, so what I'll do is I've got a zero demand ignition table that I use and that's just got some trends on here showing your, that's your RPM in red, your ignition zero demand when that's active. So this is only active at idle with the throttle closed and your ignition angle. So if I increase our lower amounts, not much will change. You can see there that line jumping around. That's our actual idle speed. And if we reduce this, so straight away you can see here the oscillations got bigger on the trend, and so did the idle speed. So the idle speed is, is jumping around a bit more now. with this as much as you like wherever your idle sort of is sitting 
there you go. I hope that was just a quick and easy explanation of what a ghost cam is. So you can, if you do get something like a Rebel LS where you can muck around on your own computer, you can sit there at home and annoy the neighbors as much as you want. Obviously there's a lot of uh, different opinions out there about ghost cams. Um, obviously you should get a real cam because then you can have the, the actual performance that, that matches the sound. But yeah, if you are interested of doing some tuning yourself, that's, that's more or less what, what happens for a ghost cam and how to give it that extra lump at idle. So have a crack yourself, have fun.